And even though that's sticking off a little bit, I will just trim it. I'm totally fine with that. How pretty is that? Okay, friends. Again, junk journaling isn't about it being pretty. I mean, uh, Bible journaling isn't always about it being pretty. It is about being in the Word, thinking on what God wants us to do. Um, we are not perfect. He is perfected. His will, he is perfecting his will in our lives if we allow him and his love. And what are we doing with that? Are we giving it away? Are we holding on to it? Are we not getting up in the morning and clothing ourselves in it so that we can pass that on? Think about that today. I mean, those are really good thoughts. And I'm saying it as much to me as I'm saying it to you, I promise. So, all right, friends, let's pray. And I'm going to let you go. Um, remember tomorrow, come back with a stamp, whatever stamp you want. If you've got stamps that say anything about love, grab those. Those would be fun. Um, bring ink, uh, like a stamp ink pad. And um, you might do a little bit of testing on your Bible um, in the back to see what, you know, what, if it is, you know, if it can bleed through. If you're going to want to stamp directly in your Bible. Just a thought. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the other one. That's okay. We're going to stop with this today. We'll use the other one tomorrow because that one is going, the other Bible tomorrow. I have it all marked, but the, the other Bible is um, perfect. It's an illustrated faith journaling Bible. And I will use that tomorrow and we'll focus totally in that Bible for the stamping. And um, because I'm going to do some fun stuff, some things I haven't um, done yet with you guys. So I think it'll be fun. All right, guys, let's pray. I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys for your patience. I know I'm kind of long winded on these, but a lot of it is just the process of doing the project and trying to explain my thoughts on this and all of that. And oh, before I forget, this is Dollar Tree nail polish. And I wanted to put the glitter, and this is just um, LA Colors nail polish, and it is a dollar. And they have it in silver and they have it in gold. And I wanted to be sure to get the heart on that one. And the number is 544. So, Dollar Tree, one dollar. All right, and doesn't it just let me see? Doesn't that just make it kind of pop a little bit? I know, just for fun. All right, let's pray. I gotta leave that one open now so it can dry. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Lord, help us to seek your will. Help us to understand your love. Help us that when we don't feel lovely, when we feel just lumpy bumpy, just not having a good day, help us to make a choice and choose to put your love on. And even in the difficult things that come our way, I mean, today, the medication that they weren't going to give us was the most important out of everything that was being picked up. And I knew that instantly. And even the nurse yesterday had said, this is the most important. I was like, yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. And uh, you, you can't miss one day. I know, I know, I know. Thank you, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, and I said, but thank you for telling me. You know, I told the nurse that. But thank you, Lord, for a nurse that cared for a pharmacy um gal who was just so sweet and just kept checking and rechecking and checking and rechecking because I kept asking her and thank you God that you made me take a breath and just smile so that my voice wouldn't sound irritated it would sound happy it would be an encouragement I hope to her and um, I'm just thankful that you know her eyes smiled you know through the little video cam and I'm thankful for that God I'm really so thankful Lord you knew today what was coming and you knew today when these verses were picked out months ago that this was going to be needed. And I thank you for that. Lord, I also thank you that, you know, if we love one another, that your love is perfected in us, God. It's something that so hard to understand how do we love someone who's not lovely or somebody who's doing us harm, literally, either by their words or their actions or their deeds? Wow, God, help us to show love that is your love. Because see, in my love, I can't love. I just can't. I, I don't have it within me sometimes. 
and a lot of the time, and it's only because of you that I can do anything, anything that is good or pure or lovely is only because of you. And I'm so thankful that you specifically tell us in so many ways, not only how to receive your love, but how to give your love and how to continue to perfect that, that you want to perfect that in our lives and how we must continue to grow in that love so that you can perfect it in our lives so that you will be glorified. Not us. I mean, I'm here today with crazy, messy hair and no makeup on and, you know, old, you know, plain old t-shirt and jeans. And yet, God, it is hopefully you that is seen in my life. Never me. More you, less me. More you, less everyone that is a believer of you, a follower of you. Help us to love others like you love us. Help us to share about you and the amazing things you do in our lives so that it will be a blessing to you and to those who will receive it in your name. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We bow down before you. And I want to stop right now, God. And I want to say thank you for all of those that have reached out. And I have not gotten to hardly any of the um, messages that I've received except for through the videos. It just seems like I'm juggling right now so much, so many different things that everybody believes their one thing is the most important for the day. <laughs> Help me to set those boundaries. Help me, God. Help me to serve you well. And help me to love back those who have been so loving. We love you, God. We love you, God. We love you, God. Help us to love others with your love so that it can be, your love can be perfected in our lives so that it can reach more people for your glory and your plan and your will in their lives. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. So I want to say thank you to everybody's messages. Um, your, your instant messages, your emails. Again, I'm getting there. I'm trying to make sure I get comments up. And I want to say thank you to people who are commenting. We've got new people and I am so proud of y'all. And I just want to say thank you. Um, your comments are so encouraging, not only to me and boy, today, I just, just want to, without getting gooey and weepy, say thank you because you cannot know how much God used that in my heart today because I was reviewing comments to make sure they get posted. I didn't get to answer them, but I did get to post them before we got started. And I just want to say thank you all because see what you guys say and encourage with is sometimes a bazillion times better than what I would say. And so as we come together as a, you know, La Familia, as I say, as family here in this channel, you guys are encouraging each other. And I just want to say thank you. Um, you're a blessing beyond all words. When you guys leave comments and you're encouraging others, you can't imagine how many yucky comments I get. And I'm not even talking about, you know, like I've, I think I've gotten one complaint and I still posted it. It was like, oh, that's a valid point. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but we, you get yucky comments. And so that's why I filter those out. And that was told to me early on. And I think that was very good you know, encouragement. Um, cause I would never want anybody to see that. Um, people do silly, yucky stuff. And, but when you guys leave y'all's messages, you just cannot know that when I've had to click, you know, get rid of those yucky ones. And then I see your beautiful messages. I am so touched and so blessed. And I know not only am I blessed, you're blessing each other. And that is, that is the greatest gift of all. All right, friends, another thing, if you wanted to put in lace or anything that that would be beautiful too. I was going to add lace and I just felt like it was getting pretty thick and I kind of, you know, you start in these projects and you start one way, you have one plan in mind. And then as you're in the process, it all changes. And that's the beauty of crafting, my friends. That is the beauty of being in the journey of talking about the Lord, talking about his scripture, thinking through the process. You know, it's amazing how God guides our steps, even in our um, in our crafting, in our art. So, okay, friends, I love you. I pray you have a blessed day. Keep chatting it up. Get chatty. Send me pictures of what you're doing. I, if there's any way you can load them in the comments, I'll post them. Um, if you want to send them to me, uh, this weekend will be gone Saturday morning early. 
Krakadon on the other side of Austin. We are southeast. We are going northwest to a town to purchase our vehicle and pray for us because it's always very stressful. It's really stressful. I'm just going to be honest. So, yeah. Okay. And, um, and, and I'll be back um, sometime Saturday. And then Sunday, I do have to go pick up our groceries. But, um, but pray for, um, pray for us as a group that we would start sharing the art, the journaling, everything. I mean, don't share your private thoughts. I know I'm not asking for that, but I'm just talking about the art portion of it to encourage somebody else. Um, cause you guys are so far more talented than I am. And I love it when you guys send things and it encourages others. And, um, whereas I would be really afraid to maybe pull the watercolor out and paint my Bible, which I've, I've done it, but, um, you, we have people here on this channel that that's your gift and talent. So you are such an encouragement to me and to each other. So, okay, friends, um, send your pictures. I will gladly post them. What I was trying to get to is I'll post them probably Sunday, um, Sunday at some point by Sunday night. Um, I'm going to try to get that Keith Green, Create Me a, a Clean Heart song up on the website. It'll be on the Bible Journaling Camps with an S dot com, hopefully by tonight. And um, if not, go to YouTube and watch it. It's so good. But um, all right, friends, love you guys. Y'all have a great evening. Keep serving God well. He loves you. Hear that. He loves you. And you know more about love now. Isn't that neat? I mean, every time I do one of these studies, every single time I am so humbled. And when I learn more and more about God's amazing love. So he loves you. All right, friends, pass it on. Talk to you later. Bye-bye, y'all. Be safe. Love you.